guys, it's Pop Freak here. Welcome back to our new podcast called Spastic Toy Talk. I am here alongside with Saki and a new member to the clan. Oh, so, hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? What's up? So, you guys want to introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, Saki, go first. Saki, go first. All right. I am Saki, well, originally Saki Pops, but I pretty much rebranded myself to Saki Productions. I pretty much just do art now. Just like my boy Pop Freak here, we're pretty much out of the leaking game. We let the leakers do their leaker things. Um, so I pretty much rebranded to doing Funko Pop art and other types of art, you know. Uh, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Newgrounds, and Twitter. Uh, that's Saki Productions. Um, yeah, so go ahead and follow me. I'll be posting some very good art on there, you know. And maybe I'll post some other stuff. I don't know. We'll see. For sure. Um, yeah, go ahead and follow me. And uh, also go ahead and follow my collector account. Saki Collect with a Z at the end. Saki Collect. Go ahead and follow me. And of course, follow me here on, subscribe to me here on YouTube as well. And uh, yeah, I'll be posting some good stuff. Yes, sir. Sure. All right. Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Zay. I'm like, I'm 20 years old. I'm, I've been a photo since like 2015. You guys, you know. Yes, sir. The OG days, you feel me? Yes, and, you know, it's, you know, I don't, I, I have a personal account, but I don't really want people following it. So I just like, I guess follow my YouTube channel. I'll plug it so you guys that are on and all that. But yeah, I mean, it's gonna be on this podcast. You know, talking about toys and Funko Pops and all that. I guess it's hey, it's an honor to be you know a freak in Saki. You feel me? Yes, sir. And some episodes, yeah, maybe we'll even yeah, talk. Yeah, exactly. So some episodes, though, maybe we even talk about, like, political stuff or, you know, stuff happening in the world. Or, you know, maybe we'll just talk about, like, you know, like, drama in the community or stuff like that. You know, we gotta get on, like, the news, but... We'll, I'm not news, but you know what I mean. But, um, yeah, yeah so... There's a lot of drama out there. A lot of drama. Yep, a lot you of know, drama. A lot of drama, yeah. You know, the fat boy loves the drama, you know? Yep, loves talking to brick walls. Yeah. <laughs> but, okay, anyways. <laughs> anyways, so... Okay. Before we get into the topic of this video, I feel like we all should basically recap our summers. I just to like say like what we did over the summer, like what went down. You know, there is definitely some stuff I need to like talk about because I know there's a lot of a lot of people have been asking me what happened to the autistic war, and I feel like now would be a perfect time to explain. But I feel like I need to save that for last. So, Saki and Zay, which one do you guys want to go first? I'll go first. Alright. So, I mean, like, doesn't go first. last summer, uh, I got fired from Apple. That's a big one right there. I got <laughs> fired from Apple for showing up, for showing up two minutes late. Thankfully, you know, I got a new job at Funko Hollywood, though, so that's good. Yes, sir. How's it been there? Yes, sir. Been, you know, it's been good, you know, backdooring chases and all that, you feel me? But yeah, my summer also went bad too, you know, a girl that I thought I liked, you know, just basically like, you know, did me wrong and all that, so fuck that bitch. Anyways, yeah, my summer went good, kinda. Just been like working like 40 hours a week and all that, you know. Jeez, dude. Now I'm in university and all that, so it's pretty much like smooth sailing right now. Exactly. Hopefully it stays that way. That's nice. Um, Anything else? And yeah, this summer, you know, I, this, I mean, New York Comic Con was amazing, but San Diego Comic Con was fucking horrible. It's horrible. Mm-hmm. It's a shitty con. But yeah, like this summer, you know, I just, you know, bought a couple of grails, you know, a couple, if, if y'all know what grails are, they're like, pops are expensive, I know. You know, I bought Dark the Clown Chase for like 200 bucks. I bought, uh. The fun days, Zoldy Roger for like three hundred bucks. Pretty much, you know, just like bought the pops that I needed to get for my collection. Nice, nice. But yeah, like I also had fun too, you know. 
you know, watching sports and all that, you know, basketball during the summer and all that, finals. But, yeah, how about you, Saki? I had a very good summer, pretty much. Very, very good summer, you know. A lot of nice things happened, you know. It was my birthday, actually, in the summer. Um, I did a lot, you know. I went to a convention, and I yes, went sir. to nice events, you know. Saw a lot of good movies, you know. Saw a lot of nice stuff. And, of course, Deadpool and Wolverine, of course, which was fantastic. Um... And, uh, yeah, I saw a lot of good stuff, did a lot of fun and stuff, and of course, SDCC releases, which were amazing, uh, I did very good with those, it was very easy to, you know, get all of them, uh, there wasn't a lot of good stuff, but, you know, was able to get the ones I wanted, and, um, yeah, there was a lot of, um, a lot of eventful stuff, you know, uh, in terms of eventful, a lot of Good stuff and a lot of not so good stuff happened, but I feel that. um, yeah. you know. Yeah, really cool, yeah. Let's just let's just say you know some, you know. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. Shit yeah. Happens. It fuck happens. Yeah. Um, hey, fuck that. Fuck the haters, though. Fuck the haters. Exactly. Yeah. Not only that, but just um. Some ladies aren't the sharpest tools in the shed. Let's just say that. Yeah. But anyway, hey, yeah. But some anyway. means like a lot of ladies, bro. Yep. Yeah. But anyways, um, back to you know, you know, positive parts of some. You know, a lot of a lot of fun stuff happened. You know, it was very sunny as well outside, and you know, my art. You know, all my art has been doing good, you know. I've um I I've definitely received like a cult following and everything, a you cult. know. That's awesome. Met a lot of met a lot of awesome new people in the community. And yeah, overall it's just been awesome. That's awesome. Good to hear, hear bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So so <laughs> guys want me to tell you how my summer went? Yeah. yeah, yeah, buddy. Alrighty, I so, think, as I you think, guys... So, I think we already have an idea, but... I think we already have quite a bit of an idea, but, you know, go ahead. Yeah, if I forget anything, you always can remind me, but I'm sure the fans gotta know. But, um... So, this summer was nice, you know. I graduated high school, I had a graduation party... Brought home about $400, so that basically has kept me surviving throughout the summer with pop releases and stuff. I camped out a lot. I went job hunting. Job hunting. I went pop hunting. I worked actually one day on, like, not a farm, but, like, picking vegetables. And, dude, it was, dude, I almost, ha I almost got heat stroke. I could not work there anymore. You guys can say that's being a bitch, but, like, I'm still working on... I'm working on hot, working somewhere else too, cause the new job I'm working at is shit. It's so overwhelming, and like, the guy was even telling me he's like, we don't get paid enough to do this. I was like, exactly. That's why I'm looking for a new job because I'm not gonna pay. I'm not gonna deal with all that. I'm not gonna deal with customers shitting all over the floor. I'm not gonna say anything else. But you know, it's just it's it's a nightmare. It's honestly a nightmare, and I don't get paid that much. Yeah. It's. Yeah, human feces. I can. I couldn't imagine working with that yeah, genre exactly. or that department. It's all. it's awful. It's awful. But I know a lot of you guys wondering what happened to the autistic war. So the autistic war, you know, it was there were um the autistic war had a couple crazy um had a couple crazy sides. So first. We put someone on a suicide watch list for two weeks. We pissed some guy off pretty badly. Um, and I almost got a restraining order from one of the clips we did. So the autistic war was an actual fucking war. But that leaves the question still hanging. 
How did it get taken off YouTube? Did I have to remove for legal reasons? No. So as you guys know, I'm just we're just gonna call him the furry. Okay, it's really funny because he makes all these hate videos, and you know, he's just basically at this point talking to a fucking brick wall. I'm not going to give him the time of day to make a response to because I don't care. I moved on from it because I have better shit to do than worry about drama for two years now. I'm sorry that you got so offended and you're so heartbroken that we're not friends anymore, but just move the fuck on. I'm not talking about you anymore. There's nothing that needs to happen, but... And then what, what I find funny is you want to say all this shit in your videos and such and such, and then you get my video taken down. Like, that is being such a bitch. Such a fucking pussy. Like, that is legit. We legit won the autistic one because you, you just couldn't take the heat. You couldn't take the heat. So, what did you do? You got little mommy to make a little call to YouTube and say, Oh my god, you're harassing my son. And YouTube took the video down. But, I still have the file and I just got paid for 13 bucks to get it. So, you know, I'll figure out how I'm going to do that. I don't even think if I want to re-upload it, to be honest. I might or I might not. But if I do re-upload it, it's probably going to go on Rumble. Because, you know, Rumble is a nice platform where they allow a lot of stuff. So I'm pretty sure, you know, we'll be good to go. But, you know, that's basically what happened in the Autistic War. You know, got taken down. Um, the whole series is not going to happen. Um, it's just, there was a lot of other issues too that happened. Like, don't get me wrong, we didn't get kicked out of any stores, you know. We actually got people came up to us and were like, oh, what are you guys doing? And we just said, we filmed YouTube videos. So it was pretty funny. It was definitely a really hilarious time, to be honest. Like, there was a funny scene, you know, where I wore the screenshots of one of the girls I had drama with on Snapchat. And, you know, it was super hilarious because, like, Quincy was talking to a Target worker, like, asking, the ch asking him to check an item because at the time the Red Hulk Marvel Legend was restocking. So, you know, we were just, like, looking, he was looking out for it. And the employee's, like, giving me looks because he sees all the screenshots taped to me from Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, dude the summer <laughs> summer was fucking hilarious yeah. summer was fucking hilarious it, it was yeah. it really was that summer. That, that's the kind of shit that you would see at a like if you were if you were at a mod if, if you were at like a modern day fashion show you would probably win because you know people are that stupid to nominate stuff like that I mean like <laughs> absolutely <laughs> But I mean, still, you were uh, you kind of dripped out, my guy. You were kind of dripped out. Well, you want you want to see more funny when me and when me and Quincy were leaving the um Target, there was this girl who like she was like. She was like a teenager, like I say sophomore, junior in high school. She was like, Mom, look, and then she saw the screenshots over me. I looked at Quincy and we just started laughing. I turned around, it was so funny. Cause the you know, I had a screenshot on my back. I I don't know, I'm just gonna say this just to say it, but you know, when we were <laughs> they're saying gay or anything, but you know, <laughs> we were putting we had, me and Quincy had to come in the bathroom with me to put all the screenshots over me. So if you guys can get what happened, it yeah, but, you know, it was it was pretty funny having him to put all the screenshots on me. You know, he was just legit. We were lucky no one was in the bathroom because that could have... If they came in at that exact moment, that could have looked mad sus. You know? So, like, we're kind of lucky no one walked in. So... Also, can you clarify something for us? Sure, what can I clarify? Uh, the, whole, the skibbity toilet picture, how you didn't use it for toilet paper? Oh, yeah, about that. Yeah, we didn't use that for toilet paper at all. I just honestly said that because it was honestly funny. And it's really unfortunate that some people cannot take jokes like that. But the <laughs> whole the whole thing is funny because, like, I mean, I, 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 I clearly didn't actually use the bathroom. I mean, what happened was I just said I was going to wipe my ass with it as a joke. Honestly, for cure, for pure entertainment. I'm not going to have... My asshole would honestly get very offended even looking at his face. That's how ugly he is. So, no. My, I know. I did not put that even near my asshole because, nah, that's not happening. No. My butthole would be very mad at me. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Thank you for also bringing that up. Also, to the summer... Yeah. I also want to add to, oh yeah, for sure. Anyways, I also want to add up like that, like this summer, there was also a, a big, big drop. You know, the Afro Luffy chase. Oh my back. god, yeah. Uh, that, was a that was a beautiful drop. I found four in the wild for that. Four in the wild for that. I was in mine since Dang. midnight. Dude, for real, that was a crazy I drop. I wasn't able to go, but 
when the Funko Shop dropped them, I ordered two. And I got one common and one chase. Yes, sir. And the, the perfect bundle right there. For real. And as a and as a one piece completionist, like no matter if it's like a glow in the dark or common variant, that felt good to me. That felt good to me. That I was oh, able I'll, to I'll be happy as hell that happened to me too. Yeah, yeah, it, was, it was great. It was great feeling. It was a great feel. Exactly. Yeah, that was a that was a beautiful drop though. I actually love that drop a lot. It's great. But so that was like yeah. like people woke up and all that. Yeah. So anything else you guys want to say before I get into the topic of the podcast? Uh, uh, not really. All right. Well, all right. Well, so today's podcast episode topic at least we're gonna be talking about is we're gonna be talking about how GameStop is a very shitty company because they do a lot of things behind the scenes and are be you know behind customers back. You know, they're they're big on lying, you know, taking the chases and you know, we're gonna basically God, this almost feels like a finding Bigfoot documentary, you know, we're just gonna basically give our own encounters and our like sightings, you know? So Basically, what I'm trying to say really is like, do not give GameStop fucking money. Let them just rot to the ground and just slowly but surely go out of business because I am done with GameStop. Yes, they had a 2 for 20 deal. I will only go to GameStop once they have sales because, dude, all the employees there, they just legit fucking smell. Yeah, there's a baddie at my local one, but I'm not going to try to go with her because, you know, I don't feel like adding more humiliation to myself. But we'll talk about that down the line. But, you know, it's just with GameStop, it's it's... I don't know, it's a lot. But, you guys want to talk about your stories Eureka. first? Because I know, Zay, you got a lot of fucking juicy stories. Yeah, I want to go last because my, I have like a whole like album of stories for GameStop oh, and even though my GameStop and all that. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yep. So, I'm going to go last when it comes to GameStop. All right. So, Saki, you have any stories? Alright, um, well, okay, so, I wouldn't say this is Funko related, but it's just, it's actually like video game related, so I'll still put this in there. Um, so, there was this Nintendo game that came out recently, um, it was a new entry in the Famicom Detective Club series. It was called Emio the Smiling Man. And, you know, I was very excited for it because I was a pretty big fan of these games. And uh, there was a very obscure series, and I knew that this game was going to go up in value because I'm also a Switch collector, like, of games on the Switch. And I knew, like, I, I needed this for my collection. So, I did the right move, and I pre-ordered it in-store through GameStop. And wouldn't you know, oh, whoopsie-daisies, we don't got it in-store. Really? Really? The one place where they get pretty much every single Nintendo game. They don't got in store. They get every single... GameStop literally gets every single Nintendo game, like, manufactured and released by Nintendo themselves. I'm not talking about, like, if they came out with a, like, My Little Pony game for the Switch. No, 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 no. I'm talking about, like, released by Nintendo themselves. Like, if it was a new Mario Party game or, you know... A new Splatoon game, you know, this was like, or a new Bayonetta game, like, this was the exact kind of situation. So, it surprised me, it surprised me that they didn't at least get one. And I pre-ordered this in stores. So, it was kind of a fishy situation for me. And what happened was, I ordered one, I tried to order one online. And, lo and behold, somehow, you know, it came in. Like, somehow it came in online. Um, 
but it wasn't after I, I, like it I ordered it online and I got no update like in a week like I got no updates about it in a week like it didn't even oh ship. it didn't even ship or anything Wow. And this came out, like, it, it, people were already getting their copies in weeks before. It didn't even, it didn't even, yeah, sorry, it didn't even ship. Yeah, so, I I it I, I, so I called GameStop like, while I was on the road, and I was like, guys, what what the hell? I, I didn't say what the hell, but, like, you, you know, you, yeah, you get you. the idea. I was, I was, I was pissed. I was like, man, what, what, what the heck, man? And, you know, they were like, oh, we're, we're sorry, this was like a mistake, uh, we're gonna send, we're, we're gonna send it to you, don't worry, we, sh we just shipped it out, don't worry. It, it's like they just shipped it out, like, as I was on the call, and it, it was kind of weird to me, you know, but... They're very, they're very unorganized, too. Yeah, and not to mention, they came out with this new thing, it was like GameStop Retro. Why? Why? Did you guys really have to do that? Yeah. For I, I don't know. But then, then, oh, this is crazy. This is the crazy part. My GameStop closed recently. Just no, no advertising, no warnings, no nothing. They just closed down. Like, I decided, hey, I'm going to go to GameStop today. I saw on Google Maps, it said, open. And then I look, and said, and there was no sign, or, well, there was no GameStop sign or anything. And I was like, huh, oh, that's weird. So I went up, and on the door, it said, this GameStop location is going to close on September 23rd, 2024. At 2020, yeah, 2024. And then, it was September 2025, uh, it was September 25th when I went there. And wouldn't you know, it's like, dude, what the hell? Like, it was the stupidest thing. I was like, dude, what the hell? No, no warning, no nothing? It was so weird, and the only reason I can imagine it closed was because, one, poor business, which is probably the most likely situation, or two, somehow there was like a violation. There was like too many violations there, like something happened, and I guess we'll never know. I guess I'll never know. I have a question, Saki. Well, yeah, so, but... did you see any, like, promotions leading up to their closure? Like, oh, 10% off store closing, this and that. Did you see anything like that? No. No. Yeah. No, yeah, no. That, then something no. did happen. All right. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's the most likeliest thing. Because I was just there, like, about three days ago before that. So, wow. it was very suspicious to me. Like, so, yeah. Yeah, that's always, like, that's a cool. violation or something. I don't think it was a hell violation because there's like they don't sell food at GameStop or anything like that. Um, so it was more than unless there was like a fucking electric leak or something or like something like that. But that. Uh, or maybe something or maybe like a Discord mod person is in there, like maybe one of the workers turned out to be a pedophile. Or that, Either that or they just. They stopped getting business. Maybe someone threw a tantrum over yeah. the Five Nights at Freddy's stuffed animals and just like wrecked the whole place or like shot it up or something. Maybe someone like maybe they scanned GameStop LLC and just like yep. something like that. Probably, the worst probably or something like something. Yeah, GameStop. They don't, they don't give a fuck about flippers at all. I reported like twenty people to GameStop and they never did anything about it. Yeah, I reported my I had my friend reported one to the store, and they did nothing about it, or my ex-friend, I should say, now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I'm not going to give them business for a while, even though I have for years, mm -hmm. but because of what they did to me online, and what they did to me um, in store in recent days, 
I have I had enough. I had enough. I have I have I one question for you, Saki. I have one question for you. Yeah, what's up? Since twenty twenty, how many chances did you find at your game stop? Since twenty twenty. Zero. Zero. Nada. Nothing. Nothing. No chances. That's all, the, that's all the proof you need. Do you go late or early, too? I want to ask you that. Do you go, like, late at night or, like, early in the morning? Uh, sometimes I go at night, but a lot of times I go in the middle of the day. There's there's, there's still, like, that's, like, four years of, like, no chances. That's, well, there has to be a flipper work there. The only chases I have found were in, like, 2018, 2019, and they were pop Pez chases. Yeah. I found chases. a cop head chase there before. That's it. I found pin chases. Interesting. Back then, yeah. Yeah, all I had found there were Pez chases. That's it. That's literally it. No, no pop chases, no exclusive chases, not even a Funko Gold chase. <laughs> Pez chases. That's it. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I found like a Funko Gold chases chase before, but I think it was $4 because nobody wanted it. Oh, man. Yeah, that's all the proof we're putting you need right there. Well, yeah, that was happened. enough proof. Just so you wait to hear my story. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for right, sure. Right here. Right here. <laughs> oh, but I have a whole plethora of proof in my story, too, but yeah, go on. Mine go is, on. Mine, so mine is probably going to put the ceiling on it, but funny is I'm just going to, I'm you know, fuck it. I'm going to see the locations I go to. So, you know... There's this one location I went to by my movie theater, right? I went there when they had that Funko Fusion drop Sunday. And I found a chaser. I went, I, went, I went right when they opened. Because my friend usually has good luck with finding chases there. I found an India Damas Rex chase. If you didn't know, I found it there. So I got that. I was super happy. Super stoked. I got that. But, you know, I went to the mall that morning. Found complete shit. Um, but that's besides the point. So, that's one of my good experiences I at least have with GameStop. But, my local one in my town, I'm just saying this. If you guys are there, watch the fuck out for Charles. He legit is taking all the chases. Okay, I know he is, because I got him. I got a, I got proof right here. So, when my boy was, he doesn't work there anymore, but I'm just going to say his name, because we got to, I we got to honor him. This man was the greatest, was a great GameStop employee, but Oscar, my man, he's the same name as my brother, he was the best GameStop employee, so, you know, when Charles was sick, because, you know, I had a feeling he was sick, because he came back with a COVID mask, I'm like, okay, you freaking liberal, um, it's 2024, or three, no need to still be wearing face masks, okay, I'm just putting that out there, but, oh, yeah, 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 we're gonna interrupt. Same with one, I think the manager of my GameStop, who has been there for years, he still wore, like, some sort of weird-ass face mask. It was, like, a black face mask with, like, white teeth on it. Yeah, freaking liberal. It was the most Discord mod. It was the most Discord mod-looking-ass face mask I've ever seen. Yup, my friend Steve always told me, if they have a face mask on, they're a liberal. They still do. So... Yeah, anyways, back to my story of what I was saying. So, you know, I'm at that I'm at that GameStop, you know, I'm going to the Pops, and, you know, it's just like, I, I just had, I've had so much crappy encounters with one. But, like, yeah, nah, so, you know, I'm going to the Pops when Charles is sick, right? And I find a Miles Morales chase. And mind you, I used to go there every day at GameStop, or every day. I went there so many times, I used to mesmerize when they would get the trucks in, so I knew what times to go. You know, I knew all that stuff. Well, he started working there because he actually used to work at Walmart, funny enough, where my mom used to work at. You know, he, I had, I had so much trouble with him at Walmart, but we're going to save that for another day because I have a really fucking funny story and it involves jumping the counter. Let me just tease that out there. We'll talk about that down the line. But, you know, so me and Charles, we already had some beef making up to this. And when my mom told me, oh, he got a job at GameStop, I'm like, great, let's hope it's the fucking one I go to at my mall, because I don't want him fucking with the local one, but he does, so I'm like, great. 
Um, but yeah, nah, so you want to tell me one time he's sick, I find a chase, and the next time I go back there, until this day, I have never found a Chase Funko Pop at that GameStop. And I know he collects Funko Pops because he's always rocking a Funko t-shirt. He likes to lie, saying, oh, I don't collect all this now. I'm like, nah, I'm like, you do, dude. I was like, I fucking know you do. But it's not even that, too. I got a funny story at my local mall um, that basically also confirms that, you know, this employee, at least there, takes the Chase Funko Pops. And, you know, I'm not going to lie... He's a nice employee, okay? That's the perks, low-key, of being a GameStop employee, which sucks. But, like, at least save one for, like, people. Don't go fucking taking everything, every single chase. But it's funny because what happened was when they were supposedly supposed to drop the Scarefare Pops Friday, mine didn't drop until Saturday. I got no idea why. But I went I went to a game, I went to the GameStop there, right? And I found a Sun Gohan Beast Glow Chase. I saw it through the window and I walked up there and I saw it. I was like, oh awesome. So you know I got it and I went to pay and he's like, Oh my god, you found that? And I'm like, Yeah, I did. He was like, Oh, that's so cool, this and that, all that. And let me tell you, he had the pops on a white foldable table that you would usually see at like card showings or like swap meets and stuff like that. You all tell me how when I go back there for New York Comic Con, the table is not facing the side. It's actually pressed against the window. So when the employees wait at the register, they can see everything that's displayed. So I'm like, great, now you're legit making it obvious that you now take the chases. I just found that super shitty and just like, wow, you know, great. That, that explains it all. You know, it's just... I just found that so stupid and just so shitty because I'm like, wow, that's really dumb and I don't know why. I don't know why they do that because it just sucks. It's like, that just makes people now want to go there. Like, yes, I went there to get my Dialga, my Batman who laughs and I went there for my 2 for 20 but like, I won't go to GameStop unless Charles isn't working and they have deals and they have Comic-Con exclusives but I'm low-key. I'm done being a daily GameStop shopper. I'm just done. Again, I pre-ordered... I put $5 down on the Robotic Mothra 6-inch and the um, One Piece exclusive. I might put a pre-order up for the One Piece exclusive because I do sell some pretty crazy Mercari pre-orders. For example, I sold the Coraline with Drowsing Rod pre-order for $70 fucking dollars. Um, so it's shared. Shared, by the way, guys. But yeah, no, nah, it's just... I'm going to try my best to make some profit, but still, it's just... I don't know. It was nuts. It's just nuts. It's crazy. Interesting. Yes, very interesting. Um, 2015, 2017, you know, 2016, all that. I'd go there. I'd be like, I find chases like almost like every week. This one, you know, back in 2020, this guy named Joey gets a job at my GameStop, right? Yeah. He gets a job at my GameStop, so I'm like, you know what? He's a cool, you know, we're, we're talking, he's a cool fucking guy, you know, he's a, he's a nice guy, and you know, he's a Funko collector too, you know, he collects Funko Pops, all that, and I was like, oh, she didn't take my chases, bro, and I was right about it, like, I'm telling you, I haven't found a single chase since 2020 in March, bro, uh, four years and a half, at my game, at my local GameStop, and... To make matters worse, he even brags about taking the chases, bro. Like it's a funny thing. I'm like, I'm like, dude, you can't do, you can't do that, dude. And this guy's just a piece of shit, and he takes like all the chase pops. I see him at conventions with his friends too. The coworkers that work there, if they're always like, oh yeah, he has all the chase pops and all. I'm like, bro, like. He can't, I, I report him, but they do nothing about it. That's why I hate GameStop and all that. I found a freaking, like, I found a freaking Chainsaw Man chase in the back. I saw it, like, peeking out from the back rooms. They didn't even want to sell it to me. They have a, a bullshit excuse, like, oh, it's reserved for someone else. I'm like, no, fuck, it's not. Yep. And, yeah, I just, I will never be supporting GameStop ever in my life. After the whole Joey taking the chase pops and all that. I even went, I don't even know why I went there. 
Like, I went there, like, two days ago in the morning, right? Mm-hmm. I see, I see eight white beard commons. No chase. I asked, I asked Joey if there's a single chase out there. He's like, he's like, he's like, nah, man, we didn't get any chases out. Oh my god, you're lying, bro. He's a liar. He's a piece of shit liar. And I'm like, dude, like, I, I know you're bullshitting. I didn't say that to him, but I'm like, dude, I know you're bullshitting me and all that. Like, you, you gotta stop back to all the chases, bro. That's fucked up, for real. Wait, can I interrupt you for a sec? Yeah. You, yeah. you knew he was lying because didn't you go there in the afternoon again? I went there in the afternoon again. I talked to one of the other co-workers out there. She was an Asian girl. And she was, like, just pretty much, like, I was eavesdropping, kind of. It was during my break, so I was, like, there for, like, five minutes, probably, like, two minutes, probably. And she was like, she was like talking to some other guy, like, "Oh yeah, Joey scored like two chases of the white beard." I'm like, "Oh my god, he didn't score anything. He just backdoored them." Mm-hmm. Damn. He like this man. This like the people that work in my GameStop are just pieces of shits. And once they go out of business, I swear to God, I'm gonna walk in there with a whole Walmart cake and just celebrate, bro. And yeah, like me and GameStop always had, we always had our issues together, bro. You know, like GameStop has always been like fucking me over since like the beginning, kind of, bro. Cause like I used to like pre-order games, like you know the whole like remember that one Mario enamel pin, the pre-order bonus. I think so. Yeah, I think I do. It was a it was a pin for Mario Odyssey. Back in 2018. Oh, oh, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, enamel, yeah. the enamel pin, like mm-hmm. the pre-order bonus. I, you know, I was the first person to pre-order it, but you know, somehow I didn't get the fucking pin. I asked them, they're like, "Oh, we didn't get any pins," and I'm like, "I literally see it. I literally see it on your lanyard. You have the fucking pins. Where the fuck are they?" <laughs> like you know, that. Like, I, like I'm not even lying to you. I, she's like, like we don't have the pins, but I see on her GameStop lanyard the fucking Mario pin. Is that what you said? And yeah. <laughs> I didn't say it to her. Cause I was like, I was a kid during it. I was like, I was like thirteen during the time. I would have laughed. I would have laughed laugh saying, "You have it on your pin. Do you not know that." I'm in holy. Yeah, hands. so that pissed me off. That was like a that was like a four dollar pin right there. I should have fucking fought for that pin, bro. Fuck. But it's whatever, though, because, like, you know, the game was, like, it was a beautiful game. I love that game, Mario Odyssey. Mm-hmm. I love it. It was a beautiful game. I'm still Yeah, tired. but, like, there's, that's not one of the only, that's not the only pre-order bonus that, like, got me fucked over, too. You know, the whole Martin, Modern Warfare, like, Ghost Mask, all that? They didn't want to give me that. They didn't have any of them for some reason, even though I pre-ordered it first. Also, for, like, you know, like... Just you know, you know, it's like those like free Pokemon like like uh, cards. Mhm. I think so. Yeah. They didn't want to get. They didn't want to give me one of those, and I'm like, I'm like, first of all, they're free. I know you have them in the back. Go look for them. And she's like, I'll be got them in the back. And I'm like, I'm like, this GameStop that I go to. I'm just gonna say it right now, like Clarabelle Clarabelle Road. Riverbank, California. Do not fucking go there for pops or anything. All anything right. that's like a, a collector item, do not go there for. Do not go there. Don't pre-order pops in store for those fucking from the jackasses, bro. Don't. You got it. I I'm not from it's Cali. Like, but I'm not from Cali, but you got it's it. Like you will be fucked over, dude. Yeah. Exactly. Like, after I get my Kizaru pop, you know, the whole, like, you know, one piece, you know, pop that's going to come out next month and all that. After I pick up those, I will never be going there ever in my life. Mm-hmm. All right. And I promise. And I promise you that. Any cons, anything like that, I'm just going to order online. You know, I'm just going to order online, you know. GameStop, I used, to, I used to love GameStop, but they just turned into a shitty company, bro. Mm-hmm. 
I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, they closed recently. I hate to say it. Yeah, they're so they do close, shit. bro. They're horrible. I got I got two stories. I, I got two more stories, but they're they're kind of sure. they're kind of similar to Dean's, but like they're legit based in employees. So I'm just gonna get the cat out of the bag. There was this guy who used to work there. His name was Tony. He was like a bald guy. It should he used to work weekends, dude. He was an absolute fucking asshole to people and shit. Like he would always give me looks and just be a complete dick to me. And I'm to myself, I'm like, what the fuck's your deal? Like, dude, he's so bald, like to a point where like you get a fucking magnifying glass when he's probably walking to his car and burn a hole through his fucking forehead, through his fucking head with the, you know, magnifying glass. That old trick in the book, but yeah, nah, dude, he's just, he's, it, it's just, it sucks because, like, I ask if I can, you know, cancel a pre-order, and you know, he started giving me shit. I'm like, dude, I'm like, fucking relax. Cause I was a kid back then. I didn't cry, but like, I got really fucking ticked off. <clears throat> like, I got really aggravated, and I overheard too of like, you know, my friend Oscar and. <clears throat> the manager basically saying like, yeah, you know, Tony's been getting all these, we've been getting all these reports about Tony because he's been a fucking jerk to like people and stuff. And he finally left and, you know, they told me he left. I was like, oh, I was like, awesome. I was telling Josh, I was telling Oscar, I was like, yeah, I'm like he's a dick. He was a dick to me and shit. He's like, yeah, he's like, a lot of people really didn't like him. I was like, yep, it's a good thing he's gone. But there was that story and... Then actually, when I went in third, when I went in Sunday to get the two pops because he had a two for twenty deal at GameStop, I don't know if I really touched upon the story, but you know I go in there right, and this guy who's working the counter, he's just super fucking awkward. Do this sometimes? Like going to GameStop and they say like, "Welcome to GameStop. What can I help you with?" I don't even want to even like say anything because I'm just like, just let me just let me shop in peace. You know, there was one time too at the mall in Enfield. I was going, I don't know how the fuck that GameStop is not closed. The fact they are still alive is fucking impressive. Anyways, so, you know, like I said, you know, in that GameStop in Enfield, um, I was going to the pop section. The guy's like, oh, he's like, I can name a pop. You'll have to go through them all. And that kind of made me think. I'm like, why the fuck do you care that I'm going through pops? Yeah, sure, it was during COVID. But, you know, he even told me, too, you know, he collected pops. He's like, oh, it's a curse, this and that. I'm like, yup, to you it is. You're a fake 2020 fucking collector. Um, and then, you know, we camped there for New York Comic Con, right? You want to tell me how they had everything besides the... The Frozen Mr. Freeze from Batman and Robin. And mind you, back then, stores were legit getting one. And that was either because he took it because he collected pops or not. And I asked him, like, oh, did you get anything for San Diego Comic-Con? he said, no, I don't collect pops or something. I'm like, that's a complete fucking lie. And my dad even said in the car, he said, that guy's a fucking liar. I was like, yeah, he's a fucking loser. I think my dad might have wrote, might have reported him because he was really pissed with him. But yeah, so, you know, that happened, but then back to my story with recently, so, you know, the guy's like, oh, I don't think they're all two for 20, I'm like, yeah, clearly, I was like, yeah, clearly, the ones that are 15 and under are, so he was like, okay, whatever, and he scans them, he's like, oh, wow, they actually are, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I fucking know that, that's why I came here, you fucking idiot, like, you're not, like, I legit am cursed with valuable knowledge, you know, you're just a fucking dumbass who's trying to make ends meet like the rest of us. That's my story. I also want to add this that I also want to add that yeah. GameStop employees are just playing up like pretty much like they don't like to see you save money at all. They always want to like. I had a time where I bought a. I was trying to like price match because they, they allow it. You know, GameStop allows. You know, guys, you guys don't know what price matching is, right? Yeah, you know? I got it before for yeah. pop. Yeah, so GameStop, GameStop allows it, right? So I went in there. The price match, the Tanjiro versus Rui pop moment, right? Yeah. And he was, and he was, and he was like, "Oh, we don't price match the best one." And I'm like, "Yes, the fuck y'all do. I've done it before." Fucking idiot. And I argued with him for fucking like 20 minutes, bro. 20 minutes of just me saying, "Yes, you do." Like, call your manager here. And when the fucking this wasn't even like local. This was like a game something like an hour away from me, bro. I'm not even lying to you. It was an hour away from me, 
And he called his manager up, and the manager was like, "Yes, the fuck we do. Prize match the best wife." I'm like, I'm like, I told you, bro. Like, okay. getting top employees, like they fucking hate when you score big deals like that, bro. I swear to God. Yup, they do. That's why I hate they all hate of these top employees. They're, they're haters, bro. They're haters for real. Pathetic. Mm-hmm. They're, they're all they're, just they're, dumb. They're, they're, they're just like they're horrible people, dude. I hate them all. Yep. It's, it's crazy. They're horrible fucking people. Like, I'm just saying, anybody who does go to GameStop, like, I legit suggest, like, I know I hate doing this, but, like, Funko.com has been so helpful for retail stores. Yes, it kills the in-person hunting, but, like, it's actually kind of way better than dealing with the bullshit we have to deal with. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you have a chance to chase, too. If you go to GameStop, you, you probably won't find a chance over exactly. right there. Exactly, no point. Funko.com, they'll always send you a chase. They're very... Funko.com, they're always strict on, like, chase pops, and, you know, they don't have any back doors over there, mm-hmm. thank God. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But... Because they're very strict on their employees and all that, from what I heard. Yeah. When it comes to that. Exactly. Maybe GameStop should be like that, but maybe, maybe GameStop should, like, punish, like, back door, you know, like, you know, punish all that, like, scalper, you know, employees, like, back doorring chases, bro, because that's, that's not right at all. That's, like... What's the point of even going to that GameStop if you know there's going to be no chase there, bro? Exactly. Like, what's the point of that? Ig fucking exactly. exactly. You know, I just want to say this, like, Joey, if you watch this video and you get mad at me, you know where you know where I fucking work. Come pull up, bitch. Come pull <laughs> up. I don't care. <laughs> you know, like, this, this small fucking long hair, weird looking ass motherfucker, always... Takes every single fucking chase, bro. Every single fucking chase that we have, bro. That they have, I mean. Like, the white beard ch- he, The white beards, bro? Like, I, I still need that one, too. I have one damage, but I want one in mint condition, so I need that. Oh, my God. I actually found... Sucks. I actually found a GameStop chase, but I left it. But it basically makes sense to why no one bought it, but it was the fucking Smurf chase. Mm. Yeah, that one was like fucking no one wanted it for for some reason. I actually wanted that one, though. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. anybody else got any stories? Because that's basically it for me. Um, that's probably it for me. You know, I went into, like, you know, the whole, you know, GameStop, you know, taking all the chases and all that. Exactly. Um, so... Yeah. You guys want to wrap it up here? Yeah, pretty yeah, I think it's a good time to wrap it up right now. It's been good, like, like talking to the viewers and all that. Yeah. And I just want to say this, too, though. Everyone watching this video, like, I just want to say... Do not, if you work at a GameStop, do not be the people that we're talking about, please. You, like, not. it's not right to, like, fuck over to collectors, bro. It's not right at all. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I also want to say, like, all the other viewers, like, I hope you guys have a nice day, you know. Thanksgiving's coming up soon, so I hope you guys have a good Halloween and Thanksgiving, too. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, make sure, like, always, like, be for family, you know. Most importantly, don't be an asshole to people, like, in real life, too. Like, always be kind and all that. Exactly. You know, the, you know, the common shit, I guess. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Thank you all for watching the yeah. first debut of Spasta Toy Talk. We will have more episodes coming soon.